putting back the apple on the cry freedom show with lisa.com Remember, things always look darkest before the dawn. You understand all of that, right? Things always look darkest before the dawn. And if all you're doing is staring at the state, you will, you will be plowed under. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Be of optimism. There's nothing that is done as yet. It's not over yet. It's not done yet. There are moves left that we can't even conceive of at the moment. Do not give up hope. Do not succumb to despair. And for this, I will give you 5,000 lemons. We're just going to hand it out here. We're just going to hand it out. Here we go. Do not succumb to the sin of despair. Please, my friends, do not do it. We have never had more capacity for freedom, never had more capacity for mobility, never had more capacity for the free movement of free-ish people to aggregate in a place where liberty can be rediscovered and shown as a giant light to the rest of the world who might follow suit as best they can. Please, I'm begging you, don't give in to despair. Don't let them win. Don't let them take down your joy. Don't let them take down your happiness. Don't let them take down your optimism. Look, I've had the living crap beaten out of me all up and down the internet for 15, 16 years straight, and I wake up loving the day. I wake up enjoying the day. I wake up happy to be alive and excited about the future. Please, please don't give in. Please don't let them win. Please don't let them plow you under. Please don't let them put you into a spiritual grave before your body turns to ash. Please drill upwards like you are trying to crack through the ice to get a breath of air in order to survive. Please don't let them win. Of course they're trying to chisel back and they're trying to get you to despair and they're trying to get you to break down and they're trying to get you to fall down and give up and give in and they're trying to make it look like an understanding of the world and a thirst for liberty is its own punishment to drive anybody away from you to make you full of so much negativity that your message can't inspire can't grow can't spread anywhere still you must be a beacon you must hold strong in this world you must hold strong it is not an option to fold and fade and give up. I know. It's strong wind and there are nails and fireballs in it. And it's hard sometimes. I get that. I understand. I understand. And you may give up on your country as your country. I mean, you don't leave a country. Your country leaves you and you just recognize that. But you don't give up on liberty and you don't give up on your happiness and you don't give up on your optimism because then the light is out the light is out you understand people are only able to navigate by the stars that we represent in the night sky if we go out if we fuck off and fade out people will have no capacity to navigate and they will be swallowed alive by the leviathan by the state hold fast hold firm continue to be optimistic it is a war of passion it is a war of optimism they're optimistic they're going to control you must you must be mobile you must be optimistic you must still be a light through which people can navigate this darkness because if we go out there's nothing left you understand? If they get to wet finger us, if we go out, there's nothing left. Nothing. They win. And a dark tide sweeps over humanity. For how long? With all the technology they have? For how long? If they put us out, it might be thousands of years before the light returns. We who hold this literally sacred flame of freedom, of reason, of truth, of philosophy, virtue, value... We who hold this, we cannot let it go out. How many people died to hand us this treasure? How many? Dozens of people in my family alone died, were shredded, hung on barbed wire, eaten from the inside out by mustard gas. 
my mother was likely raped by communists. My father's family half destroyed, mostly destroyed in the First World War, and what was left from the First World War was taken out of the second. Just to give us this light. You understand? Just to give us this light. And we stare at it and we let it go out. Do you know how long it took to gather the wood to spark the fire to light this light? And how many people have died to hand it to you? And what would they say? Looking down from heaven, what would they say about their sacrifice if you succumb to despair? What would they say? I'm so glad I died so that you with digital currency and a passport could give up. I didn't give up when the yellow mustard gas was rolling towards me, but you give up because there's a mask mandate. No, no, absolutely not. No, never. There is always hope. There are always options. There is no excuse for falling from the line. There is no excuse for turning tail and burrowing into the sin of despair. None. You stand up. You stand firm. You hold these values. You hold these truths. You inspire people. You keep this flame alight. The Cry Freedom Show with Lisa.com. Our long return path to Earth Eden. The Cry Freedom Show with Lisa.com.